Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my D-Dock smartphone docking cradle. Welcome back and thanks for being here. I've had my D-Dock for about 15 months and so I guess this is a long-term review but what a weird thing to do a long-term review on, right? This thing is just a piece of plastic. What could wear out? But there has been some wear and tear and I'll share that with you but for the most part I'm just going to tell you about the, the D-Dock. The D-Dock is a it's a cradle that fits right in the cubby underneath the uh, the AC controls and it just perfectly cradles a smartphone in there and allows you to plug into your MIB2 and auto launch Android Auto. I'm sure it does other things besides Android Auto. I just don't use it for anything other than Android Auto. The thing I like about the D-Dock, this thing is just made by some guy who's a Mark 7 Golf slash GTI enthusiast, and he made it just for these cars. He probably made his very first one for himself, showed it off in an online discussion forum, and then people are like, hey, I want one too, and so then he started making them. And I don't know if he still just prints every single one at his house. His production is kind of slow, but he still does make them for people. And uh, he may branch out to other cars. I, I don't know. But so far, to my knowledge, they're still only available for the Mark 7 Golf and GTI uh, all track uh, sport wagon, you know, Mark 7 Golf body to fit that console. And it is. It's fantastic. I, I didn't think that such something so simple could be so great. You slide the phone in, it automatically connects, which to me eliminates my need for QI charging because I just slide the phone into the cradle and it instantly connects to my to my stereo. And then Android Auto launches and now I have uh, Google Maps, Waze, some podcasts, whatever it is that I want to do, it's just right there on the MIB2 and I, I like that more than I thought I would because I used to like having separate screens. I could have my phone up here being a phone and the stereo down here being a stereo and I liked that. But the more and more I see people just using their phones while they're driving, it just, I don't know, I can't stand it. I see it. I might look in my mirror. Right now I'm looking in my rear view mirror. Right at you, this is my rear view mirror and this is my view that I see. And I might see somebody right behind me with their head down. Looking at something. Gee, what is that something? They're looking at their phone, right? And then I would look out and I would see people turning in front of me, left turn lanes or whatever. They're crossing traffic and they're on their phones like this while they're driving like this. And some of them are actually, they're not even trying to hide it. They just got the phone right up here in front of them and they're talking on the phone or texting. I see them doing this stuff, texting on the phone and nobody even tries to hide it anymore. And uh, man, I just, I'm not going to be that guy. I can't stand it. And so I love the D-Dock for that. It allows me to just put the phone down. There's no temptation whatsoever. If I get a text message, I just say, uh, well, I don't want to say the words because it'll launch my phone, but I just say the magic words to wake up the phone. And then I say, read my text and it'll just tell me what the text message is. It'll ask me if I want to reply. I usually say no because I don't text and drive. It can all wait. Everything can wait. Uh, I promise it'll still be there. Uh, so anyway, that's what I really love about the uh, the um, the D Doc. Check them out at D Docs. I think it might be d docscom to see how you can get your own. Um, they're not always available, so I also recommend finding him in Facebook and then follow him. He will announce when he has left or right hand drive models available and then you just order right then and, and, and you'll get one. Highly recommend it, I think they're great. Let me show it to you real quick how the thing fits in here. And as you can see, it is right in the center console. Uh, it fits in there nice and firm. It comes with some two sided tape that holds it in place, but I opted against using the two-sided tape because sometimes people have reported interface problems and this isn't a D-Dock problem this is a, a phone slash cable problem people have I've replaced plenty of cables and then it turned out that what's really going on is 
the the USB port gets fouled with either dust, maybe some lint from your pocket if you carry your phone in your pocket. You just can't quite see it, and so you just got to clean it out. And so yeah, pulling the phone out and hitting it with a toothbrush, you know, blowing it or whatever, that's all very easy. But sometimes you need to do the same thing to the connector. So it's nice to be able to pull the D-Dock out so that you can access that connector and clean it. I like to use the toothbrush on mine, maybe a little bit of compressed air. And if that two-sided tape, if I had used it, it would have been a lot tougher, if not impossible, to get the D-Dock out. So um, I don't use the two-sided tape. I like to be able to remove it for maintenance. I'll just call it maintenance. And when it's out, you can also see this little wear and tear that I was talking about. I have a, uh, a rubberized um, phone case on my phone, and that rubber uh, creates a traction whenever you go to slide the, uh, the phone into the, I don't want to call it velvet, but there's like a, it's like a little carpet in there, right? It's trim, and the fix is easy. If you have a mustache trimmer of some sort, just use that and trim it right up. It'll get rid of all that rolled uh, fuzz, and then it'll be good as new. I've only done it twice in 15 months, but that's just because I'm being a little prissy about it. I like it to look good all the time. But really, from here, from this vantage, just looking down at it, you can't even tell that the carpet is rolled or pulled or anything, and it's still completely functional. Once you shave off those rolls, it's, it's good. It's back to normal. Problem solved. He supplies, DDoc supplies a charging cable, data interface cable, uh, the one of your choosing. When I first bought this, I had a, what's it called, USB micro connector. So that's what he sent. And the one he sent was nice and short, maybe about a foot long. And uh, while the internet was trying to figure out why these interface problems are happen happening, I tried some different cables and I came across one that I like. And when I got a new phone that uses a USB-C connector, rather than contact DDoCs and have them send me another one, um, another cable, um, I went ahead and just got my own cable. And then I dyed one end of it black with a Sharpie so that it would match in and blend with my, uh, my center console. And, and all was good. So changing mine out was pretty easy. And uh, if you look at the underside of the D-Dock here, you can see where the adjustments are to where you can fit it to nearly any phone. I think it'll even hold the phablets, like uh, a Note, Note Plus, or whatever those bigger phones are called. I think it'll hold even that big thing. And then the USB port is, you're able to adjust it up and down to adjust to the thickness of any phone. And once you have that thing locked in, sliding the phone in and out is a piece of cake. Uh, perfect alignment every time. I can't say enough good about this D-Dock. The only thing that I can say bad about it is, man, if I move on to another car, I'll have no D-Dock. So I got to keep this car forever just for the D-Dock. I'm kidding, but it's it's that good. It's really It really is good. Feel free to ask questions if you have them. Go buy one of these things. It You can't go wrong with it unless you're that guy that wants to have his phone up here. I mean, if you're one of them, then sure, don't buy the D-Dock. If you don't like the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, then all right, it's not for you. But if there's anything going on in your stereo that you like that your phone can do for you, then get the D-Dock. It's, it's fantastic. And the, uh, the charging is much faster than QI charging. It's good, really good. So I'm starting to ramble. I'll see you next time and take care.